Well, God bless you and thank you for joining me here in my study in South Africa. It's wonderful to be with you this morning here on Prayer Wednesday. Uh, if you haven't heard, we've declared uh, the next three Wednesdays, so we've done one before, but we've declared the uh, days of prayer and fasting uh, across the nation of South Africa. Uh, many of the churches are participating and many of the pastors that we meet with on a weekly basis are participating in this initiative. And uh, yesterday morning, I was actually reminded of something uh, during my experience with COVID-19. I had uh, quite a, a near-death experience uh, because on September the 2nd, I was actually uh, very, very sick. Now, my wife and uh, my sister-in-law can attest to that. I was lying on the couch and uh, I had a, a fever for a few nights. But uh, on the 3rd, uh, you know, it was my birthday and it seemed like... Uh, what I heard yesterday in the spirit that the enemy wanted to actually publicly execute me. Uh, I felt on the second I was lying on the couch and it felt like a ton of bricks came upon um, my chest. And I knew that this was sort of a, a grave attack on my body and, and with COVID-19 and, and other aspects of life. But we've seen many people die that weren't supposed to die. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. And a lot of times Christians are confused about who's doing what. But let me tell you, that night as I was lying there, I knew that I had to start commanding things. And the Lord gave me a scripture in Deuteronomy 18 where it, it declares that I will put my words in his mouth. I will put my words in, and the Lord personalized this. I will put my words in your mouth. And um, what I realized now, looking back, and, and as I was praying yesterday, was that night I started declaring, I started speaking against the sickness, I started speaking against the disease. And what happened was actually, as I was speaking and proclaiming, it was God's words in my mouth and creating a reality in the physical world. And where the devil wanted to publicly execute me and kill me, that I would have been dead on September the 3rd, 2020, my birthday, uh, just started a ministry uh, or just start, starting to plant a church. We've started the ministry years ago, but just started planting a church. It would have been a grave blow for the kingdom. Uh, God instructed me that night to start proclaiming and I had to declare and proclaim and declare and proclaim. And as I did that, uh, I fell asleep and three o'clock that morning, I woke up uh, with my clothes totally wet of sweat. I went, I took a shower and on the 3rd of uh, September, my isolation, my isolation began. On the 3rd of September was my first day of isolation. And it was also the first day that I was totally healed. So my entire period of, of isolation, I was actually not sick. And why am I telling you this story? The reason I'm telling you this today is because I realized that many Christians are currently facing crisis in their lives. And they, some of them are like you would be in a train smash or an accident. You, you get that point of being totally numb. You don't know how to respond. Uh, you know, you're looking at the situation and you don't know how to respond. And today, this morning, here on Prayer Wednesday, as we're going into prayer and fast, we are asking people to send their requests in uh, tonight, uh, 6.30, uh, Nick uh, and his wife, Tara will be praying over prayer requests and we will be praying over every prayer request that we've been taking up for the past two weeks and we will be declaring God's will into people's lives and that is all true and we're going to do that. We're standing with people. It doesn't matter who you are. We're standing with people. We're trusting with people for breakthrough in every area of their lives. We've got no motive doing this apart from building the kingdom. This is what we're doing. We're building the kingdom. It's not about us. It's not about our kingdom. Uh, there's no fancy, there's no donations needed, nothing. We are praying for people. Uh, there's no trick to this. We want to declare life over people's lives because as the church of Jesus Christ, we are called to proclaim God's will into our city, into our community, into our cities across the nation of South Africa. Uh, I put on the post, the first post last week, Cape Town to Cairo will be saved. And I really believe that the Spirit of God is going to move in every city on, Af on the African continent. And I'm not just saying it will be a global move, but, but we've been placed here to declare it on our continent where we stay. And that's what we want to do. But I want to read you a scripture and I want to say something to you this morning that's very important. And that is, you will have to get God's word in your mouth. God's word will have to be declared through your lips in your situation. Yes, there's many times when 
God has done miraculous miracles when we've prayed for people and we've laid our hands on people and we've seen God move in an awesome way. But the righteous and the Christian cannot live by another man's faith. You will have to live by your own faith and you will have to live by your own declaration. So all of us will need to understand that. We, we need to not perish for a lack of knowledge in this time as the church because the church is being shaken. There's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of economic rumors. There's rumors about lockdowns. There's all sorts of things floating around. Uh, there's, um, there's increase in infection rates. There's a lot of fear in the community currently. And we as the church, we need to rise up and say, we believe in the word of God. And that night, as I lay there, I, I knew that this was a, a crossroad. I could choose to give up as many people have, have, have sadly died um, at the intersection of choice. And maybe they knew it, maybe they didn't know it. But, and I'm not saying in all cases, but I'm saying there is a choice. As a Christian, you have authority. And, and we, as a church, we don't hear that enough. And many of us don't even believe it. But let me tell you, you have authority. I'm going to back it up with a scripture this morning where, that I'm going to read to you. And, and you, you, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, you've heard this scripture before, but I'm backing it up. So that you can be challenged by this in, in Mark eleven twenty two. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God, for surely I say to you, Whosoever says to the mountain, Be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things that he says shall be done, he will have whatever he what says. He will have whatever he says if he believes it, if he doesn't doubt. Therefore I say to you, so he says, because of this, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So when should you believe? When you pray. So the prayer of faith and, and what we are praying today is it's not like victims of a system that we are sitting here and we are saying, oh, we have to come together and cry out to God uh, for mercy and that. No, we are taking the authority and, and we are starting to declare into the, the, um, into the unseen world. Brian brought a message uh, a while uh, 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 ago at the church that, that was the wrong kind of silence. And currently the church is in a stage where the wrong kind of silence is quite uh, normal. People are, are, are like you, like I said, like you would be when you've had an accident, when something's gone wrong in your life. A lot of times you are just not able to do anything. A lot of people that have been in a hijack situation or in a high stress situation, they said they froze. And a lot of people are frozen currently in the kingdom. This Wednesday and these Wednesdays that we do, this is about saying to the church of Jesus Christ, rise up and proclaim the goodness of God. Start declaring the things Say to, to, if you are sick today, say that, that you, will, you will live and you will not die. Declare your health. If you have a problem in your business and you've got financial hassles, start declaring into that situation. If you have a problem with mental issues and you are suffering from depression and you're feeling down and down, God, start speaking the oracles of God over your situation. Start proclaiming it. If it's to be, it's up to me. I have to declare it. You know, God delegated that authority and the Lord wants to accomplish things in your life through your mouth. But the fact is that many people are using their mouths as a destructive tool rather than a tool of, of building up. And I want to encourage you today to start speaking the things. If you don't know what to say, then rather be silent. Go and look at the scripture. Go look at the promises of God. Internalize those promises. Uh, read the word of God, let the Holy Spirit start stirring up those promises and start proclaiming into your situation. God has not forgotten you. You are not an orphan. No, he left you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is right there beside you, the parakletos. Um, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you in the situation. The enemy is trying to accuse God and lie to you in your life and tell you that God has forsaken you. God has left you. This is over. You're not going to make it. That is all lies. I've heard those lies for almost 30 years. The enemy has said these things to me. And I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle taking place. Breakthrough is coming into the church. This season of storm, this season of difficulty, saith the Lord, will bring forth a fruit and a harvest. Something is coming forth in your life. This is going to turn into 
a more than a conqueror situation. This is going to turn into a victorious situation. This is going to turn into a great situation where God is going to turn what the enemy has done around and he's going to bring a great blessing upon you as you can as you as you can just raise up just muster this morning a bit of faith and start declaring it into your life i'm reminded of a time in israel when there was a famine and and uh, and and the prophet declared that uh, that the famine will be broken and and people around him did not believe it but what i remember is, is as uh, as as the, the the famine was broken Israel took days to collect the plunder. So where they were in poverty and, and dying and people were eating their children the one day, the next day, uh, the following day, the entire situation turned around because the prophet declared it. And today you are the prophet of your life. You are the person that needs to declare it. You need to declare life into every situation. And I know it's not popular because... We want others to pray and we will pray with you. But I also want to stir you today. I want to stir you today that you start declaring life. You start declaring it in your life. You take authority and you start speaking it into your life. And let me tell you, I, I could actually see this in the spirit as it was in the days of Israel. There was famine. People were eating their children. It was, I mean, when people eat their children, it's probably the worst thing that can happen. They were in a dismal situation. And when the prophet declared, something changed in the spiritual dimension. And today we are those prophets. That's why the Lord gave me the scripture in Deuteronomy 18, where he says, I will put my words in your mouth. And today God is putting his word in your mouth. So I want you in this on this prayer Wednesday, as we are praying and fasting, many are praying, some can fast, some can't fast, doesn't matter. But as we are praying and fasting, I want you to look at your life, to look at your situations, to get practical, to stop just listening to me and to pastors and teachers and preachers. But to look at your life and to look at your life and line it up, put the word of God next to your life and say, am I, am I experiencing what I'm seeing in the word? Is it lining up? If it's not lining up, I want you to take a pen and a piece of paper and I want you to start writing down the areas that you want to declare God's victory upon. And then I want you to start saying to those mountains, to start speaking, to start declaring it, to start prophesying. And what the Lord said in my heart, that uh, you've had a lot of prayer days, you've had a lot of prayer times, you've had national prayer days and all of those things, but the people have not necessarily been taught to proclaim it, to proclaim it over their lives. It's not popular to say this, so I'm saying this today, and, and this is what I feel the Holy Spirit has instructed me when I started this message about speaking and saying, the Lord says that we have to declare it. And I want you to make that list of your life, and I want you to start declaring those things. If you have a prayer request, put them in the comments. We will pray with you. We will align our faith. Sometimes people are, are, are just in such a situation that they just can't stand and they need the prayers of, of their fellow believers, of their brothers and sisters. We will stand with you in that situation. We will, we will pray with you. We will do that. But the main victory is going to come when you start declaring it. In fact, it is life critical now for Christians to start declaring God's word into their situation, to stop speaking death, stop speaking the dead things over your life, over your over your work, over, over your finances, over your health, over your relationships, over everything. Stop speaking death and start speaking life. The, the Bible says that life and death is, is in the tongue and we need to declare it. Uh, this is what the Lord said to me. And, and, you know, I could have done a lot of things that night when, when, when I felt that I was uh, getting worse and I was getting sick. I could have uh, said to people, oh, you know what? I'm feeling sick. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it. And I could have said a lot of things, but the Lord said to me, I've put my word in your mouth. I've put my word in your mouth. I've put my word in your mouth. And it is now time for the church to stop playing church, but to rise up and declare. We have to enter into the prophetic ministry and start declaring prophetic utterances over every area of our lives. And we will see, see the miraculous manifest that I could see this in the spirit that the miraculous is going to start manifesting as we rise up 
and we declare what God wants us to say. Stop speaking death in this day, on this day. Let this be a, a, a place in your life where you come to repentance. That means where you come to a turnaround. You've been speaking death. You've been speaking negative. You've been saying negative things. You've been listening to negative media. That's been on your mind all the time. You need to use your mouth for God's kingdom, not for the, for the enemy's kingdom. Don't work with the enemy. God is going to do such great miracles in these days. Uh, I heard in the spirit the other day that the miracles that's going to take place now is going to be greater than ever before. Things are going to turn around in people's lives and we are going to have a flood of testimony. I also saw the harvest coming, but I, see, I saw an attack on the harvesters, on those that God has called to bring in the harvest. I saw in the spirit a, a, an attack directed to the harvesters, of which I was one. I remember when, when the Holy Spirit said to me, the enemy wanted to publicly execute you. And you had to speak. You could go to people to pray for you. But the fact is, at the level you were at, you were supposed to take authority and start speaking into the situation and declaring it. So we're going to be praying for prayer requests. We believe that we see the prayer request people looking for work. We, we, we see people needing finances. I've got a whole bag full of prayer requests here tonight, 6.30. We're going to be praying. We'll put out a Zoom link. And, 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 and Dick and Tyra will be praying and we will be agreeing with them. And we are all going to pray for these prayer requests. Yes, we're going to stand on God's word with you. But I want to leave you with the thought that you need to declare. You need to declare. You need to declare. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. Pray for those that are in the kingdom with you, your brothers and your sisters around them. And start declaring God's goodness. Start declaring God's grace. Nothing will happen until we've declared it. Uh, you know, God cannot, and this is going to be very theologically challenging. God cannot do it unless we declare it. That's why he raised up prophets, even in the, in the old days under the old covenant. He raised up prophets to make declaration. I did a study of this. He raised up prophets to make a declaration. And now the church has to come up in, in, in where the teaching of the word and, and, and the receiving of the word has taken the church to a point where the church has grown up to maturity, where the church can be the oracle of God that declares the will of God into the city that you're working there, you're working there, you're living there, you're living there. And everywhere the church is at is a situation where we have the authority to declare God's will into the neighborhood, into the area that we're at. But what is the church doing? The church is currently fighting itself amongst members and then also fighting with its own problems so the enemy is keeping the church occupied on two fronts where it is inner strife between members in the kingdom and then uh, and then the strife that goes towards our own lives and the fights that we fight and the struggles that we struggle we need to understand the mission and the call the mission and the call is greater than anybody's own desires and anybody's own inhibitions and we need to then take hold of the calling that God has for us and then start declaring it into our situation. So tonight, 6.30, I'll put the Zoom link up. Uh, we'll have a limit of, of probably 100 people, but we'll put the, the Zoom link up and uh, we, we ask everybody to mute their mics. Uh, we will have one corporate prayer. We will agree across the nation, wherever we are. We've got people coming in from different areas. Uh, we will agree. We will stand together. And uh, we will also then take those prayer requests that we've received through the last two weeks and these that come up on the comments on, on this video and we will pray and stand with you. But then I'm also asking you, <laughs> your homework, to go and declare it in your life. Start declaring it. Start speaking it. Find things in your life that you're happy with. Start praising God. Get into the word. Start praying and then start declaring it. Let the faith of God rise up in your heart in Jesus' name. This morning, let the faith come up. Stop feeling these feelings of defeat. You are not in defeat. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. You are a son and a daughter of the most high God. The, the devil has already lost. Christ won the final victory. And all we have to do is rise up in that authority 
and then stand against these situations that are coming into my life. I declare that nobody that's watching this will go under. I declare that nobody that's watching this will die. I declare life over your situation now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy life into every situation, in, into every problem, into everything that you are experiencing now in the name of Jesus. I activate the blessing of God in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, God bless you and, and we'll see you tonight.